Hello everybody and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Kinney, also I am known as the Earl of Suds here on the channel. I am Katie's brother and today I'm going to be making another soap design for this month's release. And I wanted to go with some sort of a tea because if you don't know, it is drink month and I am obsessed with tea. Peppermint tea, black tea, green tea, it doesn't matter, I love it all. So for today's soap, I wanted to give a big tribute to peppermint peppermint tea that has calmed me down so many nights that I needed to relax and I just had a cuppa. Oh, I don't know if you are following us on Instagram, but we have three Instagrams, actually. We have a Royalty Soaps Instagram, we have Katie's personal, and we have my personal. So those slibby slighties on the screen show our username, and you can follow us on the Insta. But enough about that. Let's make some soap. All right, so to get started, we have here our base oils, and I'm going to start by mixing in our lye water solution, pouring down the stick blender so that it doesn't splash everywhere, and of course, whenever this lye mixes in with this oil, then that is what makes soap. Saponification. Saponification. So I'm just going to blend this up with my stick blender on high until we reach emulsion. Now we will take this soap batter and we will split it off into two containers. So I'm just going to pour off our batter into these containers. I will try to do it evenly. That looks about right. Of course, we have to scrapey, scrapey out our big container. You gotta get that scrapey, scrapey in every time. Now that it's split off, it is time to add our colors. These are the colors that I'm going to be making the base today. We have a white, we have a nice true yellow, and we have Let Us Entertain You by Mad Micahs. This should make quite the perfect lemony ensemble. We'll add in our yellow color. Now we'll add in our our green and then we'll add in some titanium dioxide for a nice white color. I now I'm going to mix in each of these colors from lightest to darkest. I'm liking these colors. It really forms a cohesive palette. So I have already mixed in our fragrance oil, which is a proprietary blend that I made of a lemon verbena scent and fresh mint. It really does smell like a tea. But now it's time for us to pour these into a big container to make a proper swirl. I know I've got these containers to the side, but I kind of got to hurry. Like. Really? Just slop them in there. Why am I bad at soap making? <laughs> Google it. Why is Kenny bad at soap making? Mm -hmm. Top 10 soapy mistakes that went wrong. <laughs> no problems. La, la, la. Now I did say to myself that I wanted to make these extra solid so that the swirl wouldn't mix, but I don't know if I was imagining that they'd be quite this solid. So I'm going to go hastily grab my slab mold so that we can pour it in. So I'm just gonna pour it in here hastily down the rows of where these bars will be. I just want to make sure that every color is nice and spread out. That's all. Ooh, oh man, I put a lot of TD in there. Man, oh man. Now this container needs a serious scrapey. All right, we gotta give this a serious wiggle and I'm gonna bang it on the ground to get all of those bubbles that are definitely in there out of there. Great! I'm just gonna pitter pat this top so that I can smooth it out. I hope that y'all are enjoying our new miking system. I think my proprietary blend may have accelerated it. Now we're just going to start working along this soap. This will make a great landing spot for the tea leaves that we're going to be sprinkling on a little bit later. And it just gives that top an extra pop. 
So now I'm going to be putting on my grid that has seen better days. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I didn't know that we were gonna keep using this thing. I would not have made it so ratchet. Here are our lemon wedge embeds that we're going to be putting on the top. I just wanted to put a lemon on each one so that it really looks like just a glass of cold tea. I'm gonna just start placing these in here with their edges up. I want them to look like they're just a lemon that's been placed on the side of the glass. I want to push them down a little bit. It's always important whenever you're putting on embeds to remember that they're going to have to go into a package one day or another and it sure makes shrink wrapping easier if you don't make a big old sharp embed sticking out. Mm -mm -mm. I can smell that fragrance. It's got such a nice lemony fragrance. Now that I'm looking at these embeds I actually think that this might not be too bad of a design for shark fins. What do you think y'all? Jaws soap? I must say over time I have become a religious tea drinker. It used to be coffee every single morning before work. Black, of course. I hate delicious flavors. Anyway, now it is tea every morning without fail. It's just better for my digestive system, I think. My tummy is kind of a little whiner. The other great thing about tea is that all of the flavors are so different. So you can have an Earl Grey in the morning, an English breakfast in the afternoon as a pick-me-up, come home to a nice green tea, and then end your evening with a cup of peppermint. Okay, so I, I don't normally drink four, four cups of tea, but I could. Whenever Katie said that it was drink month, I immediately thought of peppermint tea, which I have been indulging a lot in. It is good for your stomach, it is calming to your nerves, and there's really not a dang thing bad about it. And it tastes delicious. Ooh, oh, my back! I've been bent over this soap for far too long. Now for the big reveal. Now you can see that soap in detail without that dirty old grid on it. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some peppermint leaf. As you can see, certified organic. This will make a very pleasant garnish. Yeah, tear into it. I'm just gonna grab a little handful and just gently sprinkle it on to the other side. Mmm, this smells divine. This really is a super minty soap. But you can also smell that lemon. I don't know, I just went out on a limb with this whole fragrance mixing situation and I am so pleased with how it is turning out. I guess this is also a little bit of a more manly garnish. I was initially going to try to make a very masculine Earl Grey tea soap but then I started thinking about peppermints and lemonade and well this is the result. This really came together with this sprinkle. That rake did look a little bit weird at the beginning I'll admit. I haven't done much raking in my soaping career but this I'm really pleased with. Oh ho ho, look at this soap. I'm so pleased that it really came together. I was a little bit worried that the soap swirl might be a little bit too busy, but with that rake breaking it up, with that big lemon on top, and with that delicious peppermint sprinkle, <laughs> not a sprinkle, and with those little peppermint leaves, I think that this is gonna make some great bars. And it's not that bad looking of a slab either. So now we're going to wait 18 to 24 hours, and then we're going to cut this soap up and and look at the inside after this quick commercial break. And we are back after many, many days of putting it off. I was so nervous and am still nervous about this soap because I'm convinced that the fragrance oil has not mixed in, but Caleb has assured me that it's going to be fine, so I'll just have to listen to him and hope that he's right. All right, now I'm gonna just push down firmly on Evangeline, our favored cutter. Ooh, that creepy noise means that we've cut all the way through. Let's see what this middle looks like. Oh, look, no fragrance oil. Oh my goodness, I am so relieved. Ooh, that big old white gloop looks really cool. I like that it's so intricate and swirled and then there's just a big mass. We don't make a lot of soaps like this. I love it even just for how unique it is. Ooh, I would suspect this is a very good soap to see faces and shapes in because the white 
it very much stands out. So this has been sitting for quite a while, so I'm gonna give it a sniff. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells exactly like just mint and lemon mixed together. So delicious and clean smelling, but it doesn't smell like a household cleaner or anything like that. I'm so pleased that it just smells delicious and not um, uh, sterile. Mm -mm -mm. So the question of the day is do you like hot tea? or cold tea better? And I, of course, mean at any time of the day, just in general, what would you rather have? I live in the South and I know that a lot of my neighbors and friends would be horrified to know that I don't drink a lot of sweet tea. I very much love my Earl Grey and my peppermint. I could never give those up myself, so I'd say hot tea for me, certainly. But what about you? Click the I in the upper right-hand corner to answer this very important question. Also, go down into the comments and tell me what your favorite tea is. I will not lie, I may use that information later for a giveaway of some sort. I am so happy that that soap did not have any problems. I told Caleb whenever we were done, I was convinced that the soap had unincorporated fragrance oil in it. I was not convinced at all that I had actually mixed it in because I was so hurried because it accelerated, but it actually worked and the bar looks great. I actually have ended up really liking the gloopy whiteness of it. It's very unique. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up and you could subscribe to our channel. We make new soaps every single week. And if you didn't know, if you haven't gotten the hint, I have my own channel as well, which is a little bit more nerdy, a little bit more Pokemon, a little bit more unboxing. Link in the description below. But like we always say, please do something fun for yourself to make you happy today, whether that is drinking a delicious cup of peppermint tea. It calms you down, it's very healthy, it's very good for you. Or maybe you could just take a well-deserved nap with or without the tea. I feel like with all these screens, we're always just staying up a little bit too late and we're having to wake up a little bit too early and we don't get in all the sleep that we need. So why don't you just take yourself a little snooze? Well, whatever you do, I hope that you have an absolutely lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Meow. And no, I'm not just wearing a blue shirt. It's uh, Mr. Meeseeks. Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. Oh, Jerry. <laughs>